Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is my month's end video for December. Also, it's the end of the year. This is recorded on, that's right, December 31st. So it'll be out today. I'm recording this earlier in the day, but hopefully this will be out before midnight. So, yeah. So I'm going to get started with the cool stuff that I got this year, well, this month, and um, I'm going to start off with the Christmas presents because I didn't do a video on the Christmas presents. Stuff that my uh, wife got me for Christmas, um, this is one I've been wanting in my collection for a long time. Great documentary. It was an encore original movie. It was a uh, Method to the Madness, Jerry Lewis. Of Jerry Lewis. This is a documentary he produced uh, when he was 85 and it shows clips from his movies, interviews from people that worked with him and um, live, live um, his tour when he was going on tour which I regret not going to because it was playing at a theater here um, like right after this came out he was playing at a Paramount Theater uh, old one in Joliet but um, didn't have the money for tickets but eh, oh wow at least I get to see parts of his show on here so if you're a big Jerry Lewis fan I highly recommend this and uh, really simple inside it's not really much of anything but great for any Jerry Lewis fan alright that was one gift from my um from my wife. Number two, something I didn't even open yet, and ooh, it's got a digital code, which I'm probably going to sell. That is a taxi driver. I wanted the uh, retro slip, and this is from Columbia. And uh, let's see the inside. The inside's probably, yeah, it's like the same artwork. That's um, kind of sucks, but oh well. Whatever. Um, it's the 40th anniversary. I never own this. I have seen it um, a few times here and there. But, uh, yeah. Now I can check it out anytime I want. It is Taxi Driver or Robert De Niro. And Robert De Niro and uh, Jodie Foster. Mm -hmm. That was another present she got me. And uh, this one was on my list of movies and um, it's a DVD it's Delmatad and Sazu Pitts the Hell Roach Collection 31 through 33 it's all their shorts that these two made together um, uh, at uh, the Hell Roach Studios there's a list of all its stuff and yes this is great because anyone in the world can buy it it's an all region DVD and um, I just moved that didn't I <laughs> I can't find the other one I was gonna show you the other one but there is a second set from a different company that has uh, Thelma Todd and Patsy Kelly on it I showed it in my previous videos and you get that you get this you get the whole collection boom done and that was another uh, present from my from my wife this, this was from my dad. Um, I mentioned it to him. And um, I was like, yeah, they have these retro boxes and stuff at Target. And uh, he actually found two. But he, you know, bought one for himself and one for me. And it is Fletch. The, uh, the DVD uh, clamshell. Not as good as the, I mean, yeah, it does have the same material and everything as a VHS, but it's not as good as the um, detailed ones in the UK. But, uh, you know what, just for a collectible, yeah. The reason why it's open is because I, I was doing that, it, it sounded like the disc was loose. Just happened to be the digital code and there was another, yeah, just the digital code. And it sounded loud, so I was like, I wasn't sure if it was a disc or that, so. There you go, another Christmas present. Something I wanted for Christmas, but no one got it for me. But I bought it for myself for Christmas. And it is the 
Charlie Chase um, at Hal Roach Talkies. It's all his talkies from Hal Roach. He did silent movies, but mm, not really into silent movies. So, um, Volume 1, 1930 to 1931, also featuring Thelma Todd, which um, I've seen a good number of these shorts on the back. But why I wanted this was for this for real short. It is, um, I can't pronounce it, but it's a Spanish version of The Pip from Pittsburgh. Now, Charlie Chase, just like Laurel and Hardy, made uh, different versions of the shorts, but for other countries, and they did speak the language. So, you know, I don't know if he only did Spanish ones, or he did the other uh, ones that the Lauren Hardy did, like Paris, or not Paris, not French, German, Italian, and stuff like that. But uh, that is one that I never got to see, and it's a it was a four reel short, so it's actually way longer than the original short. So yeah, it's got subtitles too. So <laughs> yeah, so this set is really cool. I can't wait for the second volume to come out because I'm gonna grab that up. It is a two-disc set. Right, there you go. Never heard of the company Sprocket Vault. Never heard of this company, but um, they got really good reviews on uh, Amazon. So yeah, I'm gonna keep buying from them. Um, next, I'm going to do my Amazon pickups for the month. One being Murder by Death from uh, Shout Select. This one I wanted on Blu-ray for a very, very long time. All, was, all I had it on was a DVD. DVD was fine, good and everything. But um, I really wanted the deleted scenes. If you go to Amazon, not Amazon, um, if you go to YouTube, you'll, you'll see the deleted scenes from this movie that were added into the television version because this movie was only 94 minutes so they needed more filler time you know yeah they show it with commercials but sometimes they need to put extras in there to fill in the two hours that they show the movie and I'm kind of disappointed that they did not put that those deleted or extended scenes in here they did put a new audio commentary from a story in Lee Gam Gambin and a conversation with uh, Neil Simon which that was imported from the DVD big deal a theatrical trailer also imported from the DVD photo gallery which I don't think that's new either I think that was on the DVD as well so if you're expecting anything new from this not really no but um, to see it in uh, 1080p works for me. I have to check this out soon. And uh, it actually has artwork inside and over here. So, yeah. Awesome murder mystery comedy. Awesome. Great cast as well. Uh, such people as, um, uh, let's see. Peter Sellers, Peter Falk, uh, David Niven, um, Maggie Smith from Great Potter fame, James Coco, and um, Truma Capote is in here. Uh, yeah, there's some others in here that, Ella Guinness, big one, Ella Guinness is in here as well. So, check it out, I'm telling you, you have to. And sorry, it's only Region A locked. And, um, I mean, maybe they'll put it out in the UK. Maybe they won't. I don't know. More stuff from Amazon that I bought this month that were cheap. Elvis, Love Me Tender. Needed this for the Elvis collection. Uh, I think all I need is two more of his movies. One being Jailhouse Rock and the other one being his concert movie. Um... Other than that, there's no more releases that I could see this year so far. I checked all the way up to March, and I don't see any, but the Elvis collection. 
Then, this one, which I refuse to buy on Arrow because 22 and up for a movie? No, expensive, too much. The Apartment, and uh, Sherlyn McLean, Jack Lemmon, Fred McMurray, great uh, comedy drama. One for Best Picture, 1960. So, yeah, this movie I needed for the Jack Lemmon collection. As simple as that. This one I bought uh, Black Friday. I was going through everything, good deals and stuff on Black Friday, and this came up for 12, yeah, $12.10. This came up, and I'm like, get out of here. I had to take a look at this like three or four times to see what it actually was because it's not shaped like a DVD case or a Blu-ray case or whatever. But um, yeah, there's the back of it. Here's the inside. This is the uh, backing that was, yeah, see that? And the backing I just kept because of the, um, the what do you call, the barcode. And the drawers come out like thusle, and that's where you keep the movies. Blu-rays on that side. Artwork on the Blu-ray. So I was really happy when I got this, but then I had remorse a little bit because I'm like, I want this to match all the rest of the Marvel movies. So what I did was I went on eBay to find someone that was selling it, uh, used copy for cheap, and I did find it. Uh... Subcover's kind of a little bit beat up a little bit. That was from the mail. Um, Venom. Um, this is only the Blu-ray and digital. That's very rare to find on um, eBay. It's just the Blu-ray and then the digital, which I sold digital already and made a little bit money back. So, yeah, that I had to have. I don't care about the DVD. And um, the inside of this is basically... This was the same back. Um, it's basically the same artwork, same everything. Just missing the DVD, which I don't care. So as long as I just put it in the stack with the other Marvel movies. Yeah, and i got to watch this soon. Um, I'm out of order on my Marvel movies. I keep seeing them here and there and stuff like that. But I know he's going to work himself into the uh, Spider-Man universe, so... Okay. All right. Going back to the Universal, or not the Universal, the Amazon stuff. Um, this one I didn't even know existed and uh, until it popped up on my uh, Movies You Might Like thing. We the Marines. This is uh, an IMAX movie that is, check that out, HDR 10+. I don't have that on my TV. I don't know anybody that has a TV with that on it, but I have the HDR, which when I pop this in my 4K player, it did play HDR beautifully everything. Um, and then there's a standard, there's a 4K SDR. Uh, I'll just go over them. 4K SDR, 4K HDR, and 4K HD R10. Um, which I didn't even have access to because my player and my TV don't accept it. Um, when I did pop this in, um, I had to disconnect my, um, my HDMI cord and then reconnect it into, into the player because every time I pop this in, it would go, the screen would go blank. So it's like, I need a stronger cord to even watch this thing. So, I do have other brand new HDMI cords, so I have to actually get a new one just to watch this. And, uh, well, not get a new one, but hook up a new one to actually watch this. But when I did watch it, it blows you away how great the, uh, the picture and the sound is. Yeah. It's basically Marines and training and stuff ready for their time overseas and stuff like that and fate in the war so there you go that was one now these two from mill creek i bought 
pre-ordered. This one came kind of late. This one I already did a review on. This one I seen the other day. Beautiful. It's just beautiful sound, beautiful picture. You get lost in how clear and crisp this picture is. And um, the way they shoot the underwater scenes, amazing. And um, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is just HDR. This is just 4K Ultra HD. So, yeah. But it is beautiful. If you are into any kind of movies, IMAX movies, I highly recommend you check this out. And along with this one, beautiful scenes from the um, space station and um, um, satellites and everything. It's just really beautiful. And uh, they're both rated G. And for people overseas, it is all region, yeah. And funny thing is, I entered a contest, uh, it was the week of Christmas, for these. I entered a contest, and I actually won the damn things. So I had two more copies. And what I did was, um, Alan at Curlin's Ghost Channel, he, um, he, he's doing me a lot of favors, so... Um, he was interested in these, and since they're all region, he doesn't have a 4K player, but he can watch the Blu-rays. Since he's all region player for all region, I'm sending him those two movies because, well, he's the man, all right, and he's hooking me up with a bunch of movies, so. The day before I won those, I entered another contest just for the hell of it for two DVDs. One was a Jerry Lewis triple feature, which I already had. And the other one was a Dean Martin double feature, which I did not have. Just happened to be I won. It was only one person to win in that contest. The other contest was, I think, five winners. This one only had one, and I was really shocked that I won. And the very next day, I'm, sure, I'm shocked that I won that other one. So, yeah, this was officially put out by Columbia. You could actually find them still at the store and on Amazon if you want with different artwork and different packaging. But I just wanted these two movies just for the collection. They're not on Blu-ray yet. But if they do make a Blu-ray double feature, I'll grab it. So that was enough when I won. All right. Um, let's go to uh, what I gave my wife for Christmas. And um, I want to get my wife for Christmas before it goes out of print because I know it's coming on uh, Shout Select. I picked up for $9.99 Legally Blonde 1 and 2 from MGM Home Video. And um, yeah, these are both MGM movies. And um, yeah, I mean, they're funny. I've watched them both, but uh, we have them both on. Um, DVD right now, so this will replace that, and, uh, yeah, I didn't even, she didn't even open that thing yet, so, uh, yeah, that was one of the presents that I got her, and the other, thanks to, uh, you know what, I forgot what YouTuber sent this to me, I apologize, but he sent it to me saying, look what's on sale, and I'm like, what, and I checked it out, and it was saved by the bell, this is the new one from Shout Factory, $29.99, as opposed to $49.99. So I'm like, yeah, I'm getting that for my wife. And uh, it's got all those special features on it. It's got everything from Good Morning Bliss, Bliss on it to the college years. And the two movies that they made after the fact. And um, there's a photo gallery, audio commentary, 16 page episode guide. And a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot, lot more. So she's a really big Say by the Veil fan. We actually have the whole collection. But because of Good Morning Miss Bliss, that's on the side, I had to get it for her. Because that was the only one she didn't have. And this is a great set. Shout, your, Shout Factor usually puts out great DVDs and Blu-ray sets anyway. But sometimes the prices are just way too high. Next, I'm going to show these really quick. Christmas time, 
Actually, this is Black Friday. Black Friday time. I was looking for movies. And I'm like... Yeah. But these didn't come until after Black Friday. Way after Black Friday. That's why I'm considering them December. Um, I went to Family Video just to see if they had some of these movies cheaper. Instead of buying $9.99 movies on Blu-ray that day. Whatever. Uh, I found these and they were all three ninety five I think and the movies that I got these are only blu-ray only but they all came with slips so yeah I got the best purge no the first oh, the first purge uh, nation begins or nation reborn Wow I can't read backwards all right that was one uh, number two was Annihilation, which I really wanted to see, but they had them at Best Buy for $9.99. I'm like, no, I don't want to see it and pay $9.99 if I don't like it. Rampage, which I just watched the other day, and it is freaking awesome. Nice little popcorn flick there. Uh, you got the you got Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. You got, um, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Jeffrey D. Morgan, Negan himself, uh, from The Walking Dead, and uh, the rest of the people on here, uh, yeah, the rest of the people on here are not really that famous, but um, this movie, if you haven't seen it, I didn't think I was going to like it, but yeah, it's really good, really good special effects. And um, since I live in, you know, Chicago area, around, well, I live outside the Chicago area, but just to see them tear apart Chicago, yay! Uh, yeah. Um, this one here, I really didn't want to see, but I really didn't want to pass it up for three, for three something, and that is 12 Strong with Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. And, um,. The classified true story of the uh, horse 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 soldiers. Um, I didn't actually even see. I mean, trailers and stuff like that for this movie. It's just the Blu-ray. Um, for this movie, I have not even paid attention to. So I'm going into this movie blind. So it's pretty cool. Um, also, to get every single one with a slip that's a plus you know 3.98 all of them with the slips okay I'm going to show you something else I got from eBay right now and I was so <laughs> I love the movie but I was kind of sick of seeing it on TBS um, a Christmas story but this is not a Christmas story this is the actually official sequel to a Christmas story different cast though because by the time they made this movie, um, same director though, Bob Clark, and same narrator, which I don't know. I can't. Gene Shepard, Sharp Shepard. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, whatever. Uh, but he is the um, narrator of this too. This movie was made in uh, 1994. So by the time 94 came, these kids were, the kids that were in A Christmas Story would have been too old anyway. So the whole cast is different. I'm talking about My Summer Story. It's really good. It's a really good check out. And it's actually going out of print. It's on Olive Films. And um, I found it for a damn good price. Used on Amazon. Of course the case was broken when I got it but artwork everything uh, you could find this on DVD still um, but I think it's full screen um, this is widescreen and uh, yes it's an MGM film and uh, it's only 85 minutes it's not that long but if you're a Christmas if you're a you know uh, a Christmas story fan you'll love this movie too Happens to deal with um, Chicago. They live in Indiana, but they go to Chicago for this World's Fair. Um, 
in the 50s, I want to say. Yeah, the bumpuses, you actually get to see the bumpuses in this movie. It's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, my summer story. Next, I'll be right back. I have to set some stuff up. It'll only be a second. I'm back. only took a second. Actually, it took like two minutes. But anyway, I set it up. Uh, my next stack of movies here. So um, I'm going to start off with uh, something I got at the beginning of the month. Rubber band fell. Um, these two are from Cinema Sickness. Uh, he had this movie that I wanted. Uh, hand over straight and um, with Harrison Ford this is a kind of a hard one to find out in the wild it's still in print I think um, I really wish they would put this one on blu-ray because yeah uh, it's got um, Harrison Ford Christopher Plummer uh, a lady I never heard of before if anyone has tell me what movie she was in and it's got the digital master audio aspect ratio um widescreen presentation it's got uh, audio english two channels dolby surround um it's also got 4.0 french and spanish subtitles also it's got uh director's commentary bonus trailers Interactive menus and screen selects. So I was like, mm, he's got it. I want it. Um, it's actually a, it was actually in decent uh, shape. Um, had some some fingerprints on it. Little bit of a uh, light scratching, but um, it will play. And um, yeah, if you haven't gotten to see this movie yet yeah I highly recommend to check it out um, I haven't checked it out yet but yeah it's like the older stuff from Harrison Ford is the best stuff from Harrison Ford then since he had this for a really good price I decided to snag it up wish I had a slip but the Jungle Book the live-action movie which I have never seen I only seen bits and pieces flipping through channels and uh, it's got the Blu-ray, DVD, no digital, but that's okay because I just wanted to see the Blu-ray. I could care less about the digital or the um, DVD. It's got Bill Murray, Ben Kingsley, uh, Scarlett Johansson's in it, Christopher Walken, and then uh, that's a really bad one. Uh, yeah, it's got some bonus features in there. So, yeah, first time watch for me. And, and it's all region, yeah. Jungle Book. Next, I'm going to show you a couple of a um, couple of movies that I picked up from uh, HamiltonBook.com. First one was a movie. It went down in price, so I finally snagged it. Young Doctors in Love. Now, if you haven't seen this movie, it's a parody movie about uh, hospital movies and medical dramas and soap operas and stuff like that. And it's. Uh, Who's in it? Michael McKeon is in it from um, Laverne and Shirley and um, Spinal Tap. Um, Sean Young, Hector Elizondo, um, Harry Dean Stanton, and uh, Dabney Coleman. Uh, and it's directed by the late, great Gary Marshall. That's right. And um, actually it's executive produced by him as well. It's uh, from 82, from 1982, so I haven't seen this played on TV in a long time. I've seen this many, many years ago. It is from Kino Laber, and it is region A locked, so yeah, sorry about that, people, but I mean, maybe it might come out in Europe, who knows. There's reverse artwork but really not much of a difference. Um, that artwork next to that artwork is pretty much the same. <laughs> it's just, this This is the new artwork. This is the original artwork. 
So it was really not much of a difference. And then the backs are the same. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to check this one out. Young Doctors in Love. Parody movie. It's right. Next, something that went down way in price. It went down to $5.95, and I wanted this movie for a long time. I just wanted to see it. Um, according to PMAC movies, I won't like it. Um, but I, I have to be the judge of that. I have to actually watch it and see. And I'm talking about Colossal with, um, who's in here? Anne Hathaway, Jason Sudeikis, Dan Stevens, and Tim Blake Nelson, which I have no clue who that is. Um, it is, this is the Canadian version, all right? It does have reversible artwork on it. Comes with a mini, mini poster as well. That's what the mini poster looks like, exactly. Um, it comes with that, and, uh, See, there's really not much of a difference between this and this side. Really not much of anything. Just says, just really not much of a difference. So one is just reversed French to English, English to French. That's about it. So, yeah, I want to check this out. But the plus was, I forgot to put these back. The plus was... When I opened the envelope, and I was shocked to see I was shocked to see that lenticular slip. Now, I don't know, did we get this here in the U.S.? If anyone knows, give me a comment below. But this lenticular slip is just awesome. They really did a good job on this. I do this all day. Yeah. <laughs> back of the slip slip is solid man slip is really nice but um this is i don't know if this is all region or not because it really does not say on it so i would have to check that out and uh, and i'll let you know but it doesn't have any kind of um Nothing on there. No zeros, no ones, no twos, no A, B, C. And, uh, yeah, so I might check that out just to see if it's region A locked or all region. I don't know. Next, from our closing, our closing, um, it's real disappointing to say this, but our closing second in Charles. Kind of, sort of, me and my wife, uh, well, my wife found out about it through her friend when she passed it. And then she went over there with her friend. They took all the Blu-rays and DVDs, out, all the Blu-rays out of there. And there you go. Just got a message and I had a, anyway, I had to, um, yeah, I, I had to go in there and, and kind of like, check it out and stuff so what we did was we looked through all the shelves and stuff well my wife did I was on FaceTime and um, we picked every single blue ray off that they missed and the first one was um, Streets of Blood now, I never seen this movie before but it's got Val Kilmer in it and uh, he doesn't look so crazy in this movie so he looks kind of normal Streets of Blood for first pickup from Second and Charles. Second pickup was Dwayne Johnson, Billy Bob Thornton, Faster. This was in their dollar bin, I think. Uh, their clearance dollar bin, and it came out to be way cheaper than a dollar. So, because they were doing like 50% off used movies, so got it for like 50 cents. Same thing with this one, Dance Flick. I've seen it once. It's hilarious. Never seen the uh, unrated version, but uh, yeah, it's freaking hilarious. It's a parody movie again. Love parody movies. Finally, this one was also pretty cheap in price, and uh, a lot of people 
after I did review of the or showed what I got, people were just like, "This is actually a really good movie. It's got a great cast: Vanessa, Vanessa Hutchins, uh, James Earl Jones, um, Rosalio Dawson. It's hard to pronounce her first name, and Brandon Fraser. And uh, yeah, this movie came out in 2014." It is region and locked, but uh, a lot of people commented saying it was a great movie, great pickup. Okay, last, last but not least in movies, this would be. <laughs> All right, well, one second. All right, this would be from a uh, big lot that we never go to. We only went to it once, and I was like years ago and so my wife was looking for these um decorations these um christmas decorations and uh, it was driving her crazy because our big lots did not have it and the two around that were kind of close to us did not have them so she went 20 minutes out of her way she found them and a load of them um and she passed the movie section and what do you believe they've had a whole load of blu-rays Three dollars mostly, and um, I think one was two eighty-eight. I'm just gonna run them down because I already did this before. Dude, where's my car? Didn't have it in the collection. Needed it. The Cell, awesome movie. I seen it twice on cable. Vince Vaughn, um, Jennifer Lopez, great. It's a great movie. Um, one that I did want. The other one was just a plus, and that's Tango and Cash. And the other one is The Assassin, so I'm going to check both of them out. Uh, Tango and Cash only seen like a handful of times on TV, and I never got to finish it. So, um, Another uh, Sean William Scott film, Bulletproof Monk, which I never seen. Yeah, I know, I should have seen it. But um, never seen it, wanted to give it a shot. Three bucks, why not? Uh, what's this? Okay, this one a lot of people said great movie too, and it is uh, Dan Stevens, the guest, which um, yeah, can't wait to see it. I I'm going in this one blind because I, I I don't think I've ever seen a trailer on it, so yeah, that guest, and got some more here. Limitless with Bradley Cooper, Robert De Niro, and whatever. And this one I've never seen. Seen it a lot of places. Seen it for $5, but not for 3 Now, my cousin went with her that one day. They went back, and they found this in the pile, but they found it priced at $5. And then she went a little bit further into the into the movie section, and 3 bucks. I'm like, okay, grab it. Three bucks? Why not? And then one that I've been looking for for the past two years that people have been like, I found it, I found it, I found it, I never found it at mine. And it's one hour photo. This was also three bucks. I'm going to make this up Blu ray combo pack as soon as I get some more cases because I have the DVD already. Good dark. Um, Robin Williams movie but there's a point at the end of it and it really makes you sad about his life but teaches the personal lesson in the movie this one right here I was waiting for it to go down in price the lowest I've seen it online was probably Hamilton books for $5.95 and that was uh, Eye in the Sky three bucks the reason why I wanted this because it's Alan Rickman's last film appearance and it actually got really good reviews. So, Eye in the Sky. It was a DVD Blu-ray combo. I already sold all the, all the codes to this stuff. But, yeah. I rubber band them all so I knew what was going on. Um, this is another one because it's James Gandolfini. I think it was his last movie. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The Drop. Tom Hardy, um, yeah, the drop, and this one was, um, probably released after his death, I think, 
I'm not quite sure. Comment below on that one. But uh, I'm expecting some really good things from that. <laughs> Stacking them high over here. Um, this one I heard of, but I never seen the trailer for. Uh, Robert Redford, Shia LaBeouf, two main characters. The company you keep. Look at that cast. Look at that cast. Crap. Uh, this is another one that's uh, region A locked. So, can't really. Most of these are region A locked. Um, this is a uh, story about a, uh, pr a prisoner. Well, he's not actually a prisoner. It's a uh, person that's disguised as a prisoner, but he's actually a high up person in the jail system. And he went undercover in there, and it's Boo, Boo Breaker. Brubaker with Robert and Robert Redford. So another Robert Redford movie. I've never seen this in the wild, so I, I had to grab it for three bucks. And uh oh yeah, the drop was two eighty eight. That was the only one with two eighty eight. And uh this one is actually hundred and thirty one minutes. So yeah. Got good reviews. So I can't wait to check this one out. Have heard of it, but I never seen it. So yeah. One last thing that my wife got me for my Christmas present was... Well, she got me some other stuff, but I'm not going to show it personal. This. These little mini ones. The reason why this is special to me is because my dad worked for this company. And it went from a company called Gottlieb Pinball and video games and stuff to when Columbia... There it goes. Columbia Pictures bought it, and I guess they still own the copyrights to it. In 2016, this came out, but uh, yeah, this one is kind of special to me because my dad worked there, and they had family nights, or like family nights once a year, where you got to play the video games for free and the pinballs and everything else, and this is one of my favorite games. I still got a lot of like memorabilia stuff from Qert and um yeah it's an underrated game i have this on my um i want to say SNES it could be on my Nintendo Entertainment System of uh, the the classics i have it on one of those two i don't know uh, cuz when i added games to it this one came up but this is cool check it out It actually looks pretty damn good, like it's the actual video game. The quality is great. And I know this day and age where people are, uh, the battery just died. Anyway, I know where people in this day and age are getting those bigger ones, where they're building them, from, building them out of those packages. This is just good enough for me. I love the thing. I actually have to take it out of the box and collect it. It kind of looks like a Funko Pop. You know, don't know if it's the same company that makes Funko Pops, but uh, this was awesome. Yeah, I was actually asking for either this or um, Fix It Fix It Felix, the Wreck It Ralph game. Yeah, either one of those two. I'm still on the hunt for that Fix It Felix though. Like, this one was really cool for a collectible and uh, kind of a piece of my childhood. So yeah, that's it. That's all. If you have any comments, questions, anything, feel free to leave them below on uh, this channel and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Or if you have any uh, info on any of the movies that I showed, please leave that below too. Um, if you want to get a hold of me faster on Instagram, which it is because I'm on there a lot, uh, it's uh, movieedge1 on Instagram. And... Uh, that's it. So, Happy New Year to everyone out there. And uh, stay safe. Don't drink and drive. No one wants to die for 2019, okay? So, yeah. Be careful, people. Don't be inconsiderate. If you're drunk, have someone else drive, all right? Or take an Uber or a taxi. There you go. This is Movie Edge, I don't know.